Hi everyone, Wonia Thibault here, and I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you a project I was excited to work on, and that is designing this signature card in partnership with the Grimm Workshop Survival Company. So this card represents me, my skill set, some of the things that I've devoted my world to, and also some of my philosophies. So it has a variety of different tools, including tools for hunting, fishing, so bringing in animals, and then tools for tanning the hides of those animals, and then for crafting with those. A knife with the words, loving connection is a survival skill. Within the knife handle is an awl for buckskin sewing. A combination fishing lure and dry scraping slash fleshing tool. An arrowhead with the word gratitude. Three fishing hooks. Four needles, including two straight needles and two specialty curved needles, and then a combination saw and wet scraping blade that says creativity is a survival skill. So a whole bunch of tools in one small place. Now I'm not saying that these are the best tools in the world for doing all of those things. Obviously, if I had my choice, I would be using a full-sized knife and a full-sized scraper for doing my hide tanning. But if you're in a pinch and you happen to have your wallet on you, it is gonna be a lot easier to do the jobs with this than it is with your teeth and your bare hands. So let's talk about these tools in more detail and how to go about using them. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the card. Comes in a little envelope with a little write-up. And most of these tools do not come as sharp as I would really want them for you to use. So I requested that it come with a piece of wet sandpaper, 120 grit, that you can use to sharpen your tools. So the first time you use it, it's gonna take a little bit of work to peel it out and break those metal connections like that. But then the idea with their tool retention system is that after you use a tool, you can actually place it back and it will stick in the card so that you can put it back in your wallet and use it again. So when you take the knife out and peel the awl out, that leaves a hole in the handle of the knife. And so that can either be used to wrap the handle with a fishing line or one of the thin mini parachute cords, or it can be a way to lash that knife onto a bigger handle or to make it into a spear by lashing it on a longer stick. So multi-purpose blade there. Now you can actually use the back of the card itself as a flat surface to hold your sandpaper on. And then you're just gonna wanna put a good bevel on both sides of your knife, holding your knife at a consistent angle. And then I'm also gonna wanna take off the little burr down at the bottom from where the metal was connected originally. You might also wanna use your sandpaper to take off the burr that's gonna be fairly sharp when these come out of the factory. So I would recommend putting an edge like this on your knife, on your arrowhead, and if you're going to use it as a dry scraper, on the dry scraping tool, which is the one with my Buckskin Revolution logo on it. Below that are three fishing hooks, more of a circular octopus style hook in three different sizes. Then we have an arrowhead that says gratitude on it, and that can be bound obviously to an arrow or to a longer shaft for an atlatl point or a spearhead. And then there's this tool here, which is a combination dry scraping tool or a fishing lure, or you can use the back end of it or the front as a fleshing tool just in the bare hand. So the knife, the arrowhead slash spearhead slash atlatl point, and the fish hooks are gonna help you bring in game. The knife is gonna help you butcher them. And then we have hide tanning tools for turning the hide into soft leather. This is a dry scraping tool and or fleshing tool. So you can use it in the hand to help you flesh the hide, particularly the hard to get areas like the face or the lower legs. That hole is also there so that you can mount this. And then the ideal way to mount it is at about a 70 degree angle. So what you're gonna wanna do is get a tree, a small small tree growing with a branch growing out at the angle that you want and then you're gonna just carve a spot into that branch that this can sit nicely and then you can secure it using either a wooden uh, peg or a nail into that hole and then you're gonna peen it over so it's larger in the top securing it 
or lashing or ideally both so it's really secure. So that you can use for dry scraping hides and for just fleshing the hides when they're wet you can just use this in the hand you don't necessarily need a handle for it. Fabulous mini little version of a tool good in a pinch. Now this wet scraping tool is far too thin to use on its own so the way that I scrape a hide is over a rounded log or you can use a piece of PVC if you need to but you're going to be pushing like this over the rounded surface of a log. So you're going to be putting a lot of force on it. Obviously this little piece of metal is just going to fold with that amount of force. So I designed this card for this tool to be set into a handle for use. That's going to support it and keep the metal from bending. So right here is the combination saw and wet scraping tool. So you can see the saw toothed edge obviously is the saw. I can use that edge to cut a branch to use as the handle for the wet scraping tool. Definitely a little bit hard to hang on to, but heck of a lot easier than no saw, right? And by putting a little pressure on the branch, I can open up the kerf and then my saw blade is going to get pinched less. It's going to be way easier to use. There we go. So now I have used the tool itself to make a handle for itself. So you can either use the saw itself or the knife to cut a slit in your piece of wood, which I just cut, and you're going to set your scraper into that saw blade in and scraper blade out. Now the reason why I have the holes in this card is so after you've set it in the handle you have something that you can use to pull it back out so you can reuse this without having to carry your temporary handle with you. And I'm going to make an indentation here with my knife. The knife of course is going to be easier to use if you affix it to a handle. but. You use what you need to in a fix. So you can see I'm putting a good kerf into this with that knife. So setting that blade into the handle and now I have something that I can hold and then also something that's going to really support the pressure and not allow this blade to bend under that pressure. So again I would recommend putting it further in. You want to put it all the way in until the holes are just partially exposed so that they're still there to bring it out but so that really the blade is going to be well seated and protected. So that my friends is your wet scraping tool. Now let's say you've taken your hide through to finished leather. So here is the awl for sewing with it. So let's take a look at how beautifully this awl goes through buckskin. So right through, no problem. Definitely a little bit rough on the hand to use it just as it comes, but it is made to be able to do that. That's why it's a little broader on the base. But the ideal way to use it is with a handle. So I cut a little piece off of the handle that I made for the wet scraper. So I use the tip of the knife to bore two holes next to each other in this piece of wood. So now I have a handle to seat my awl down into that's going to make it a lot more comfortable to use. It would be even better still if I rounded the edges of this so it'd be even more comfortable. These J curved needles are absolutely fabulous for sewing with buckskin or other thicker leathers. Honestly I mostly use the awl when I'm sewing with buckskin but for shoes 
such as these boots here. They used something just like this to make these boots. So the lovely thing is that this 90 degree angle makes a great place to hold it so that you can push through the leather and you have something to push against. And you can see how wonderfully quickly and easily it goes right through that leather. Very easy for me to use in the hand because of this fabulous shape. So after use, everything gets set back into the card using their handy dandy little tool retention system. So a whole bunch of tools in one small place. My signature card can be bought singly or in a box set with cards with Bob Hansler and then Fowler, Jordan Jonas, Wayne Russell, and myself from The Alone Show. So pretty slick and you get it in this charming little box, like so. And if you order it using the link that I'll put in the description of this video, then I get a higher percentage of your sales. So it really helps me out if you use the link I provide to buy my card. Thanks so much. And remember to subscribe to the channel and consider supporting me on Patreon. Links coming up. Thanks everyone, enjoy.